it seems like many farmers are experimenting with earlier planting dates for soybeans. Posts on social media light up with planters rolling in February and March, but we rarely see the harvest results from those fields. This video is going to look at the downside of planting early, namely the risk of freeze damage to the soybeans. This field was planted on March 8th. It took four weeks to accumulate the 90 to 100 GDUs needed for emergence. Then we had an April warm snap, which saw nearly 40 GDUs over the next four days. The unifoliate leaves came out, and our story takes a turn for the worse. Over the next seven days, we had five nights with nighttime lows at or below freezing, and one of those nights got into the mid-20s. Published data indicates we would have damage and death of soybeans, but the extent of the damage was unknown. After waiting a week to see what would survive, it was quite obvious that some of the plants would be fine. Residue helped protect some plants. In some cases with neighboring plants, one plant survived while the other one died. But remember, even if the unifoliate leaves were killed, there are additional growing points at the base of each leaf, including the cotyledons. So these plants could survive and produce good yielding plants if the cotyledons are okay. But if the next froze below the cotyledons, those plants are dead. In this situation, about 30% of the field is dead which also means 70% of the field appears it will survive. And while 70% stand is not ideal, frost and freeze damage are part of the risk we face when planting ultra early. That concludes this Pioneer Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.